Hi, hello everyone. Thank you so much. You kind of caught me on the movie side, but hopefully, um, you know, I have enough time to to be here with you, but I'm very excited to to chat with you. Thank you so much. Uh, my question is, how do you define your evolution in films? Um, I'm very excited. I'm actually on the film set playing a singer. I think when I started doing films, I was boxed in a little bit of a playing a cliche. You know, I would always play like a Russian spy or a model coming from modeling or, you know, like the lady of the oldest profession. Uh, and it took me a while in this business to actually break the stereotypes, all kind of stereotypes for, you know, somebody with an accent in Hollywood, for someone who is a woman, for someone who looks like a model. You know, I finally played a mother last year, which I was really excited because I'm a mother in real life. And it was a great opportunity to finally, you know, give my experience from real life to to film and also to stand up comedy. <laughs> How do you describe your passion for music and things every day? I think storytelling is something that connects us as humans. And also, I was always a creative child. So for me, it's a natural transition, you know, from one type of thing like modeling to comedy to acting. And you have to be passionate. This business has its ups and downs. You know, it's a kind of effort. It takes a lot to make a movie, as you guys can see. Like it's, you know, we've been here on Sunday morning. A lot of times we shoot at 5 a.m. So I think to show up, in you know 5 a.m anywhere on job and you don't know if you have a job tomorrow you have to have a lot of passion but i love telling stories you know I love breaking stereotypes i love working with others it's something that naturally you know comes to me and i love the circus uh, of meeting new people and creating magic excellent as well i am curious uh, what the best movie experience you're you never have. Oh my God, it's really hard to answer that because every experience I like pinch myself when I'm on set around cameras, it, it is just so exciting because the adrenaline, you know, being live and having an experience of living somebody else's life is so exciting. I would say maybe the first time I was on set in America because it was a new experience. It was on a film fanboy with Gillian Green Remy. He was an amazing director, and I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't take any acting classes before that, and I was terrified, but I got through it. The terrifying kind of switched into excitement, just being you know, around other actors, really like established actors. It was, it, it was fun, and it's all play. You know, I think it's like being paid for playing. It's... <laughs> Just such a privilege and an opportunity. So I, I just feel grateful every day I wake up. You know, people will always need stories. That's how literally, you know, we connect. I remember when I moved to Paris, I didn't speak the language as much. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends because modeling can be very, um, you know, alone business, even though you meet people every time. Movies were something that, you know, made me feel connected, being human, being understood. And even though people say they disappear and all my kids do is watch TikTok now and nobody has an attention spam to, you know, watch a movie, I think storytelling in that sense does affect our life. And that's what makes us human. I do see there is definitely an evolution and, you know, thank God maybe in some way we can connect in this device through Zoom and all these different channels. Uh, but, you know, the the heart of storytelling will stay the same. Like, we all want to to connect on some level. And any technology, I think it has positives and negatives in it. So it is definitely a conscious choice as humans. Like, I know there will be robots. And hopefully, they won't replace actors and humans. <laughs> but, you know kind of being innovative. I'm open to innovation. I'm always curious to learn, you know, about the technology and future of, of different ways to tell stories. You have developed some kind like a, a work collaboration between 
Eh, one of the one of my favorite directors that is Guy Ritchie. You appear on The Gentleman and Operation Fortune. So tell me uh, how this um, marriage happened. Tell, tell us, tell me because I know Operation Fortune is having great reviews everywhere. And of course, The Gentleman for me is one of the best movies of the last years. Thank you so much. I love Guy Ritchie. I think we grew up in Russia, you know, watching this auteur director who has a very specific style, not just general, but, you know, he's such a visionary. So I always dreamt about working with him. And I think I'm a person who kind of is a go-getter. When I saw an opportunity and he was working and I saw the script and there wasn't even a role for me specifically, but I recorded something, I sent it to his team. I, you know, said that I would be honored to do anything on it, you know, even serve coffee, anything. Like, I just want to be on set. And when Guy said that he wrote a scene for me on The Gentleman, I freaked out. I was so excited. I was on my way to the airport and I literally slipped. I thought I broke my back. It was an action scene, you know, or like I had to, to do something action-wise. I couldn't be with a broken back. I flew in. I was in the like I can't move. Like I can't move from my hotel room. I had to call the doctor. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, this opportunity of a lifetime. And now I'm not able to do that because I self-sabotage myself. <laughs> you know how they say like break a leg? I literally broke my back. Uh, but Kai was so generous and he's like, no worries. I met you, you know, so come back in January in a few months and we'll shoot your scene there. And I was very excited. My scene was with Michelle Dockery and Matthew McConaughey, who are very experienced, just amazing, amazing actors and humans. It was really fun to shoot. We shot around the garage with classic cars. It's all like very, very visual, all the cranes, you know, there's so much that goes into a shot. And guys, somebody who like meticulously plans the visuals of it. And the script can change. You better be prepared. So that's why I think actors who work with him have a lot of experience because you have to be on your toes all the time. Script changes. His guy's assistant will come to you and tell you, oh, everything is like scratched it out, whatever you prepared and work for. And this is what's going to happen. And you just have to adjust very fast. But I love that, you know. And I know the result is always like an amazing, incredible film. We haven't seen Operation Fortune. It didn't come out in the U.S. yet. I think they're waiting for a release date. It's been like a long time anticipating, but it is very exciting. I know the guy is shooting a new TV series now in London. So, you know, hopefully I can be part of that. Shout out. Um, but um, yeah, I think it's, it's fascinating. I mean, a funny story. My son came on the set and he was like, hey, he he was given notes to guy and i was like no embarrassing but he was 10 years old you know what does he know <laughs> so like i never want to break my son outside back but you know kids, kids are kids he was very cute and guy is somebody who like dresses up he's always meticulously dressed just like a english true gentleman and you're right uh, this that's one of the movies that i'm waiting for like the British fortune. So I hope you come here also yeah. to South America. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bueno, de hecho tengo una pregunta y eso del referente a un rol que la verdad me dejó impresionado que es desde el de Kinchi en Trai. ¿Qué podemos aprender del mundo en realidad y más de tu personaje? What can we learn from uh, your character Kinchi on the tribe. Kimchi was uh, Kimchi was still she was a girl of the oldest profession, but she was very strong. You know, she was a survivor. We shot it in in Vegas, and you know, I like these characters. Like the film that I'm doing now is all about martial arts. It's called Munji, and you know, my character she's a singer. She gets kidnapped by the cartel, as you can see in the background. It's kind of like a cartel surrounding. This is our set for today. Um, I like characters who are strong, you know, no matter what comes to their life, like they, they're not there for revenge, but they definitely have the strength, you know, against all, all the bad guys. Tell me, tell us more about that new film. By the way, I was going to ask you what a beautiful background. So we are lucky that you're tell, talking to us in the set <laughs> of your new movie. Tell us more, tell us more. And I will translate. Yeah. This well, it's, it's, it's a great film. We have amazing actors here. I'm playing, um, you know, not an assassin, but she's definitely like a martial artist. 
And, um, you know, Eric Roberts is an amazing actor here. There's all this kind of established actors who've been acting for a long time. So it's a really beautiful set. I feel like everybody's a professional. And we shoot today in Bel Air. Um, so it's a, an amazing house, you know, which is kind of a backdrop to, to the cartel. There's some mafia involved. There's lots of action. There's, you know, singing part, which I'm really excited about, like choreography. I haven't played singers a lot. So, you know, it, it's a fantastic crew. It's always about people who you work with. And um, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see it. I have a, a lot of films coming out. I have so many films coming out. I like can't <laughs> even, I have a film with Bruce Willis that's coming out next month. And before I can let my friend talk, one of the films that you will appear, we got people from that movie that is Mr. Toll Massacre. In fact, we had talked with the producers, with some actors. So if you want to talk mm. about Mr. Toll Massacre, go ahead. But that's one of the movies that we had been announcing from the last time because people from that movie had been on the channel. But I will tell to John because we are so happy that you're tell, talking to us in the set of your new movie. So I will say that to John. John, solo diré algo, nos está hablando en el set de su nueva película. Wow. Eso es en Bel Air, ese es el escenario. La casa, la casa del cartel. Uh, uh, yeah, John knew, knows now that you are talking in the set of your movie, so she's happy. He's happy. Okay. Thank tengo, you. Yeah. Yo tengo curiosidad. Eh, no sé si has, bueno, has visto el filme Mala Madre que ya hace el papel de Luna. Yo te pregunto sobre si le interesaría explorar más lo que son las historias latinas. Por ejemplo, ahí se habla del 007 latino. ¿Le gustaría, no sé, visitar Colombia alguna vez, grabar Latinoamérica? And I'm happy that John made this question because you tell us about mm, that you're doing a movie about the cartel and you also appear on Mala Madre. That is like the James Bond latino. You made the, the, the character of Luna. Do you want to keep participating in more histories happening in Latin America with all the bad and the good subjects? Don't worry, not only the mafia, but another kind of histories. Yeah, you know, I kind of, I got fortunate. I met um, actor Echevarria, who is a pretty well-known actor in South America, and he's a producer on this film as well as an actor. And, you know, making films is always like a family affair because you want to trust people you work with. So a lot of times actors like, you know, they work together on multiple films together because they know how it is to work. And yeah, I think, you know, there's a project that is potentially happening in Argentina in July. So hopefully I can go back because I love South America and, you know, there's just so much to be done. And I heard sets are really amazing to work on. There's, you know, there's a lot. I, I love traveling. I love learning about cultures and, um, Yeah, I mean, if I can... Hector, come here. I'm giving an interview for a Spanish uh, channel, Kuti. What the fuck? Can you say hi? What is it? Yeah. Uh, Just... From it's Colombia. Colombia. Hey. Hola. Colombia, vamos. Acá está, acá está Argentina. Le ganamos el Mundial. Lo siento mucho por ustedes. Ah, no, pero Fue un no dolor problema. muy profundo. <laughs> un dolor no terrible. Campeones. El que, el que tuve cuando les ganamos. <risa> Mentira, yo no hice, yo no hice nada, fueron los jugadores, así que todo bien, ¿cómo están ustedes? Muy bien, muchas gracias. ¿Cómo está el C de todo? ¿Cómo allá? ¿Todo bien allá? ¿Qué Muy tal bien, nuestra... está espectacular. Estamos con la, con la estrella Eugenia acá que se roba todas las escenas. Wow. Es una de las mejores estrellas de Hollywood. Eso sí, yo, Eugenia nunca de que tomar la foto. Pero Venga, si tomemos tomar la foto. foto. Ven, vamos a Ustedes tomar esta foto. Está, como que, selfie. Por favor. Ok, son, son, 100, son 100 dólares. Mándenle la plata a Ugina después. <risa> Bye, guys. Bye, Bye hombre. Qué honor. Te esperamos en el canal. La próxima. Excelente. Wow, Ugina. Ok, he left. He has to wow. go. He has to go work on it. <risa> it's amazing. It's amazing. John, amazing. Vas a morir feliz, ¿no? No, sí. De hecho, yo le hago esta pregunta a ella. Mire, con todo el amor que le tenemos a su cine y es... ¿Cuál es el paso a seguir para cumplir el rol soñado? ¿O ya tú cumpliste ese rol soñado? Ok, that's a beautiful question from John. And thank you for that beautiful moment, by the way. Uh, <laughs> knowing that you, had, is, you are building a really great career on, on cinema and television, you have played your dream role or 
there is a dream role that you want to play like oh this ne this has to this has to be the next step yeah you know i i don't think i yet played my dream role i feel i love complicated characters i love complicated women and for me you know playing fancy heroes is interesting playing somebody who has a lot of like emotional variety but not in a box you know like somebody who's like a witch or somebody who goes against any kind of cultural concept that's something interesting you know somebody like Jean d'Arc like this heroes who have to overcome a lot of circumstances i think it's something that i'm still looking for like i think i've i've broken some boxes but i definitely want to break more by the way i uh, i when i saw the background i thought it was borichara city from my country because it looks like like la sur america uh, yeah you know, yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. que nos espera sobre green cola y sus redes final question Uh, tell us your social media so people can follow you and what we can expect from Green Cola. Uh, okay, so you guys can follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty active there. Eugenia Kuzmina can find it. I post behind the scenes from different movie sets. And Green Cola, is that the, the project, the film, right, that I'm doing? Is that correct? Yeah, so it's yeah. a comedy parody, comedy parody on Hollywood. You know, I think talks a lot about like hypocrisy actually and you know some cancel culture i think it's something that we all struggle as comedians and as actors i think artists have to be free to be who they are and i think cancel culture is a very dangerous thing so talking to people through comedy is something that you know is more acceptable and can be digested faster so obviously it's about an actress who is promoting green cola which is ecologically sustainable and she's trying so hard to be this like ecology person but she's not you know so i think i think there's a lot of laughter behind the scenes of like how things are made and i just hope to inspire people to be honest and just to be better humans to be kind to each other and um, you know be open and free to express the opinions that they have oh thank you eugenia thank you Bravo, bravo. Thank you guys. Bravo. Thank Gracias, you so Lacha. much. All right. I'm going to run back to gonna run back to like all the <laughs> you can see in the background there's like all wow. the cameras and stuff It's like wow. that. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. <Yeah. laughs> Enjoy. Wrong, wrong, so thank wrong. you for your time. All right. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Bye.